Hi, I'm Alois Rosario, and today we're going to talk to you about improving your refle reflexes. I took some players to do some reflex testing. It was interesting, the player that plays close to the table and is really fast and I thought was going to kill the test, finished dead last. So how is it that he can play so well with the slowest reflexes? Well, the essence is that it's not just about your reflexes. There's a lot more involved in how quickly you can react to the ball. The first and the most important one is how well you track the ball. The better that you track the ball, the earlier you're going to get the information of where the ball's coming. So if I'm tracking the ball all the way there and all the way back, I'm seeing a little bit earlier the direction of the ball coming back to me, the type of spin on the ball, the speed of the ball, and I'm getting that information just that little bit faster than that guy that's got those really quick reflexes. So, in training, you need to start to think about this. You need to start to think about tracking the ball better. Spend some time forgetting about your actual strokes and techniques. Just think about how well you're watching the ball during that training session. Watch the ball out and in, out and in. So all your shots, the only thing that you're really focused on is watching that table tennis ball and tracking it as best as you possibly can. Now we need to consider our balance. If you're not balanced, it doesn't matter if you anticipate the ball really well or if you've got fantastic reflexes, you're not gonna be able to make a good stroke. So balance is a key here. How do we get our balance? Firstly, making sure that your feet are nice and wide apart, your knees bent and you're down in the good basic stance position. That'll help you with your balance. Then we need to think about this. We need to think about our chest facing the ball wherever it is. So if the ball's coming from here, that's where my chest is facing. So here, the ball comes straight to me, I play my backhand. Now the ball's coming from there, I'm following the ball with my chest, but now it comes over here and I'm playing a forehand. So again, my chest is facing towards the ball and I'm able to play a forehand with good balance. If the ball comes here, I'm facing the ball and I'm able to play a good backhand. So having your chest facing the ball wherever it is, is vitally important to making a good stroke with good balance. What happens if your chest isn't facing the ball? Well, I'll tell you what happens. The wiggle happens. What's the wiggle? Now you will all have felt this. So the ball's coming here, your chest is facing there, and suddenly you need to adjust quickly and make better position and line your chest up with the ball. So you end up doing that and you get that wiggly feeling. So we really wanna try and eliminate the wiggle by making sure that our chest is facing the ball wherever it is. Why do we wiggle? Because we anticipate that the ball's coming to where it actually isn't. So the ball's over here, suddenly we turn over here because we think the ball's coming to our forehand, but the ball's still here, and we need to make that quick adjustment back so that we can play the backhand. So eliminate the wiggle by facing your chest to the ball at all times. Thank you.